Hi, and welcome to Condi TV. I'm Chris from Condi Technical Support, and today we're going to be talking about cleaning the capping station on the Virtuoso SG800 and SG400 model printers. The supplies we'll need are Simple Green or Denatured Alcohol. We prefer to use Simple Green in a 50-50 concentration mixed with water. If you use the alcohol, you don't need to dilute it with water. You'll also need a screwdriver to trick the printer into believing that the print tray is open, top tray, uh, so that you can watch the print head sliding across and know when to stop it. You'll then need a syringe in which you'll apply the solution onto the capping station and any type of cleanup material uh, to get any excess that comes out of it. Uh, today we're using my handy mug, which was the first item I ever sublimated here at Condi, uh, to hold my 50-50 blend of Simple Green and water. The reason you'd want to perform a capping station cleaning is if you're getting breaks on your nozzle check that aren't moving around after you've done cleanings or if you're getting random breaks in your nozzle check daily. Uh, they keep coming back after you've done the cleanings. Uh, that could be a problem with your capping station being clogged and not allowing your heads to completely flow through. Uh, there could also be a smearing along the back side of your paper uh, flowing along the right side of the printer. Uh, that would be from the print head getting gunk off the capping station and sliding it across as the print head slides by. To start off with, you're going to turn your printer off and then open the top tray that you see the inside and locate your print head, which is going to be to the far left if you're at the rear of the printer. You're then going to position your screwdriver into this small notch area, and there's a spring-loaded clip in there. You know, if it's a weighted screwdriver, it'll be able to hold it down itself. If not, you'll have to apply a small amount of pressure. All right. You'll want to be ready to pull the uh, power cord once the print head slides over. So have your hand there and then turn your printer on and we're going to wait for it to slide over and unplug the power. It'll take just a minute to turn on so if you're doing it from the, power, the rear of the printer like I am don't be alarmed that it hasn't started up yet. Here it goes. You're going to slide over slow and you want to get it to the right side uh, don't let it get all the way to the right because it's going to slide back very quickly. What we're looking for is this small square area here. This is the capping station itself, which is a pump. It has small hoses attached to the back and uses wheels on the uh, hoses to pull in suction like an IV. So if you have any clogs in there, it can cause quite a problem uh, in your printing itself. Uh, it's kind of like uh, having a stopped up plumbing unit. All right, the two areas we're going to focus on cleaning are this area right here, uh, which does not have the spongy material, and the one with the spongy material, which is the more important of the two. Now I'm going to apply my simple green and water dilution uh, into the non-spongy area. It's a little less here than it is inside of the spongy area. It should puddle for just a second and soak in. You'll need a little bit more because we want to flood the spongy area quite a bit to allow full breakdown any ink that's in there and corrode it uh, so that it allows it to seep through and stop any obstruction that's uh, causing blockage in the hoses. And what you'll do is you'll kind of push that through there until it really starts to flood up in there. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can allow it to sit and soak through uh, give it at least about 30 seconds to do so. If there's still any buildup, you'll get it with a paper towel, being sure not to apply too much pressure to the spongy unit because it can cause damage. As you can see, we're getting quite a bit of ink out of this one and it's still a brand new unit or a fairly new unit. And we're going to apply it one more time. Now it's going to soak through fairly quickly on ours because there's not a lot of buildup. Uh, you want to continue the process until it soaks immediately in. Uh, you really want to flood it, but if it starts to puddle and hold there, uh, give it about 15 minutes and then apply the solution again until it starts to soak immediately in like ours is here. All right, now that we've done our cap and station cleaning, we can shut it up and turn the power back on. Uh, just to reiterate, when you're doing the capping station, Make sure that you're doing a whole lot of solution in there, flooding it, not necessarily overflowing it, but getting good flooding in there so that it allows it to really break up uh, any clogs that's in there. Uh, and to keep doing it until it immediately soaks in. If not, you'll start to do the processes again 
and your capping station will not be completely clean and we want to avoid that. Uh, after you've done a, a capping station cleaning uh, and you've completed it, you'll want to do probably at least one head cleaning and then a nozzle check afterward to make sure that uh, all clogs have cleared up and you don't need to continue the process or do any other type of uh, maintenance on the printer itself. I really hope that this video has helped you with the issue that you're having with your printer today. If you have any further problems or questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-800-826-6332 and technical support is option number two. Once again, I'm Chris at Condi TV and we look forward to seeing you again. There are so many videos for you to watch, we don't want you to miss out on a single one. So click here to subscribe to Condi TV on our video channel. Click here to like us on Facebook so you don't miss out on anything. And click here to visit this product's webpage.